Hey, beautiful people. Hey, family. I hope many of you are having an awesome holiday. Spending a lot of, you know, precious time with your loved ones. Don't take it for granted. I have a message. This is on my heart to speak about. Um, be mindful. Who you share your secrets with okay especially those things about you those struggles past struggles I'm not saying that you can't talk about it but be mindful who you talk about it with because we live in a time where you don't know about people's intentions as far as why they are around you. Not only that, you know, when you're telling this individual, that so-called friend or associate or lover, sometimes a spouse, just saying, Anyone other than your loved ones, your family. When people know certain things about you, your past struggles, history, they can easily sabotage you with that information. I see it time and time again when... I see people that decide to share those private things about them to someone that they feel like they can trust and they turn around and step them in the back with that information. How do they say, don't let the right hand know what the left hand is doing? That is so true. Example, many people have struggled with addictions. They're all kind of addictions. You got drug addiction. Alcohol addictions, sexual addictions, even a workaholic can be an addiction. But those addictions that didn't serve you at all in your past, you presently, okay, have overcame them, but still you know that you have a history of those addictions and you decided to share this information with someone that you thought you could trust with that information. As long as everything is good between you two, oh, they'll keep that secret. They'll hold it dear to them. But once you two fall out, have a disagreement, whatever the case may be, if it's a relationship, once you break up, okay, once you break up, then it's a whole nother ball game. If you're friends, it's a whole nother ball game when you're not friends anymore. If a person, if a person knows that you are known for these um, addictions, shall I say, they can easily sabotage you. Yes, indeed. Because, see, not only do they know about these addictions, you have family members, they know what 
you are struggling with in the past as well. Okay? This message is for somebody. I don't get on here just to be talking. And it looks like God put something on my mind to speak about. I obey the Spirit. Those so called, you know, friends from the past, you know, that you grew up with, or those, you know, family members, you know, they knew you. They knew what you were dealing with back then. Okay? But you have overcame that addiction. But the fact that you, you sat up here and, you know, decided to share this information with somebody new that's entering your life, once that relationship goes to the left, for whatever reason, they can easily sabotage you. What do you mean, Corinne? What I mean is, if you are known for having a certain addiction, such as alcohol or drugs, give you some examples, They can be plotting and planning and sabotage you in a way they take you out. When the authorities come, just saying, have ears to hear. When the authorities come, they may see, you know, drugs around close by you, or they may see a bottle of gin, vodka, whatever the case may be, Patron, whatever the case may be. Hell, sometimes they would even pour the, you know, alcohol in your mouth, okay? The point I'm trying to make is, whatever reason they would easily just say and chuck it chuck it up as oh okay it, it was an accident it, it, it was a you know overdose accident or and don't be in a bathtub god forbid you in a bathtub okay like somebody can't hold you down in the water okay and you drown oh an accident drowning due to a drug overdose are due to overdosing in alcohol. You know what I'm going with this family. And if you have a sex addiction, having more than one partner, being known to having more than one partner, you know, you've been quite loose in the past, but you changed your life around. Someone can sabotage your relationship that you're currently in. Because you were once known for being loose you were once known for having more than one sexual partner so a person can easily throw a monkey wrench and try to trip you up and make it seem like you know you're back to your old ways again it happens if many of you are not experiencing this Shall I say, from the perspective of, you know, uh, having any of these old addictions, okay, you may have family members that, you know, that you know of that um, have had some struggles, all right, in the past, and now they're, you know, trying to clean their life up, and that's a good thing. The main thing is... People need to be mindful who they share the information with. That's all I'm saying. Because everybody is not your friend. And you don't know the individual intentions as far as why they're trying to, you know, enter your circle. A lot of times people just want you to share enough information with them. So when the time comes, they can use it against you. Mm -hmm. 
all information is not good information to be sharing. That's all I'm saying. I see this a lot with celebrities that have been known for, you know, drug use in their past and they mysteriously go out, pass away in the bathtub. But see, this, is, this has been something that they have known to do, which is drug use, struggling with it. But they hook up with people that knows this is about them. And when things don't go, let's just say when a relationship ends, whether it be a friendship, you know, lovers, Sometimes even marriage, they plot, they plot, and it take you out, and it looks like an accident. The authorities, the authorities are not going to question it. And a lot of people are getting to the point now when they're a married couple, a lot of times they just cremate their loved one. Because they don't want nobody to question it, shall I say. At the end of the day, be mindful of who you share your information with. That's all I'm saying. Stop having loose lips and just putting your business on Fifth Street. Everybody has to know everything about you when it comes to your past, okay? Especially, you know, your struggles. And if you're going to share it, be mindful who you share it with. Peace and love to you all. I feel like somebody needs to hear this information. Especially the young people. You know, they want to belong so bad. And sometimes they get to talking too much. Thinking that... That so-called individual is their friend. And they can easily turn on them. You're talking too much about their money, what they got. And that so-called friend can easily turn on them. Be mindful of the words coming out of your mouth. Because all information is not good information. And they can easily take the information and sabotage you. Peace and love to you all. Be safe. And I'll get back with you later. Bye, love.